Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're continuing our blind let's play of Kick-Ass Commandos. Now this game was developed and published by Anarchy uh, Enterprise up there in the corner, you can see their uh, symbol over there, which is kind of Anarchy symbol. But yeah, they developed and published this game, and they gave, hooked me up with a copy of this game to do a blind let's play series on and a game review after we finish playing here. So we're moving on to our last mission pack here, which is mission six pack, uh, mission pack six, and it says here that the evil court or evil cult leader Corpus Natus is on a quest for immortality by luring innocence, innocence, with the addictive Crystal Yayo. He hopes to harness the infernal powers of darkness, destroy his army before any more virgins are sacrificed, kill him as many times as necessary, to ensure he stays perma dead. So we got our first mission here, which is bumper stash. Um, destroy the stash. So that's our only mission there. Okay, and it's starting us off pretty rough here. We're right into the the deep of it. Um. We got machine gun guys and uh, all kinds of stuff just going on and the shield guys walking towards us so we gotta go find the stash here and uh, somehow we just couldn't kill that guy we're struggling with him oh this guy's Throwing uh, axes. And now we got a sniper. Now we don't have a sniper anymore. No, we do still have a sniper. Uh, we took care of him there. And... And we got ice now. Oh shoot, and we walked right into a big barrel of uh, uh, grenades there, and died. Okay, here we go again. And our one guy went down already. That's not a great start for us. So all we have is the axe throwing guy now. And it's just us. Let's see if we can get any health out of these stuff here. Nope. Maybe down here. Nope. No life. We're all on our own. We got the stupid sniper sniping at us. And uh, there we go, we got some health this time around. Okay, we open that up. We gotta be careful of the missiles here. Get in here, we get in the middle and destroy the stash. And our knife got one of our guys got knifed down. And the range on those grenades was pretty long. But we got a new soldier now. So hopefully that helps out. We've got missiles everywhere. Oh, 
Why are, are the tires exploding in this? Are these not tires? Are they like something different? I guess they are something different. And uh, I definitely want to stay away from all this exploding. And there we go. We got a bumper play bumper tires as our thing there. Got that done. And now we got chill out, boss bomber, and snow blind. Let's go to chill out. Uh, escape the ice cave. And uh, not a fantastic start for us at all. Our one guy will probably die. Yep. And uh, killing all them over there. We got small yetis, big yetis. Give a dog a bone. They just keep on coming. We don't have any time to really jerk around here, so we gotta get going. Because the Yetis just keep on coming. And, uh. Come on, Yetis. Knock it off. They had us pinned against a the wall there, and we're dead. There we go again. You got bitch slapped. <laughs> yes, we did, didn't we? Okay. I kind of just want to get through this level. This seems like a level I don't want to waste too much time on. It's going to be a fast moving level. There we go, we shot down a bunch of yetis. It would be so cool if our guys weren't so bad at, um, uh, at uh, staying in our group here. So, here we go again. And like I was saying earlier here, it'd be great if our guys didn't get stuck in the levels. And yeah, okay, here we go again. Uh, the Yetis are pretty strong and end up slapping you pretty good. Um, I can tell that the games can become pretty difficult at this point. Uh, I like I was saying earlier, I couldn't imagine playing this on any of the other difficulties. This is pretty hard as is on here.
And we're just gonna try to get by. Yeah, there we go. Barely survived what we got for that level there. One of the corpse. Um, I'm assuming that means that we unlock some characters there. Uh, let's move on to Snowblind. Um, find the keys and escape. And you know, let's see. I guess we can't change that until we get into the main menu. I wanted to see if I could turn off the shaking a little bit. It seems to kind of take away from the game for me anyway. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but like the screen shaking all the time is getting a little on the noxious side. Um, come on, there we go. There we go, we mow down the two guys we need to mow down. And we're working our way through it. And we got a sniper. Now we got a snow throwing. What? What is that? What is that kind of stuff there? A freaking guy on a snowmobile coming through and uh, destroying us there. Alright, so we got a few more tries in this uh, before I'm done uh, playing for today. Freaking guy on a snowboard. That was such crap. Alright, here we go. And we're working our way back through here. Got obliterated by a guy on a snowboard. And now we're getting, uh, snipered. Here's the guy in the snowboard again, and how are we going to survive through this if he just comes through and just blows us up with grenades? Um, that is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what they're trying to do here. Alright, one more time, and then we're going to wrap up the video and call it good. And, uh, there's a guy again, and, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up for today, guys. As I always say at the end of every one of my videos here, flip that bacon, see you next time, and goodbye!